Remember when Inertia was resource guarding? We're going to see how she's doing today, and I'm gonna show you what to do if your dog is a resource guarder, or you want to try to prevent them from ever becoming one. I'm Zach George. I train dogs. This is my new dog, and I'm gonna show you how I trained her from day one. Things definitely won't always go smoothly. You can start from the beginning, or you can pick up anywhere. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an episode. When you put into motion an approach based on love and respect, your results will forever remain in motion. This is Inertia. Welcome to the Dog Training Experience. Have you ever found training your dog to be difficult at times? It's important that you have everything you need when you're training your dog. By the way, this is more than just a box. Because with every purchase you make, PetFlow gives a bowl of food to a pet in need. Things that we routinely need for training our dogs are great toys, treats, and high quality food is a must. PetFlow has all of that and they do this magical thing where they make your dog's food magically appear at your doorstep without any effort on your part at all. I'm gonna have a link in the description. Go to that link, select your favorite dog food, then tell PetFlow to ship it to you every three weeks or however often you'd like it shipped. You'll get $10 off your first three automatic shipments too by entering my special code ZAC30 at checkout. Resource guarding is where your dog becomes protective of something. It commonly involves food, but dogs can guard toys, they can guard their bed, or any number of things. From day one with inertia, I knew that resource guarding could be an issue. I think it's pretty natural for dogs, especially inexperienced dogs, to want to protect what they have. There's nothing intuitive about letting someone take something away from you. So we literally have to teach them that they shouldn't guard things. And so I tried my best to be really proactive about this, starting when Inertia was about eight weeks old. I wanna get her really comfortable with me going in her food bowl, taking it away, giving it back to prevent resource guarding issues in the future. Nonetheless, we saw two minor instances of this resource guarding behavior with Inertia as she was growing up. Let's look back. There was one instance during one of our resource guarding practice sessions that we were doing with a bone where Inertia got a little protective. That was actually the first time I had ever seen her display any of this behavior at all. A while later, there was one instance where Inertia got a little protective of a snowball, basically shaved ice with chicken broth, that she was eating when my wife Bree got close to her face with the camera. I continue to test and practice with her periodically, but today we're gonna give her a big test and see how she does. Also, keep in mind, I detail how to deal with resource guarding in both of my books. I'll have links in the description below. So over time, I've learned that Inertia is not the type of dog who resource guards her regular food, but she's become protective of special items like bones or other treats twice before. Let's recreate our first ever instance where Inertia got a little protective, which was with an animal bone during one of our routine resource guarding practice exercises. And the exercises we're gonna cover right now are the same whether you're working on being proactive and preventing resource guarding or your dog already does resource guard. The idea is to not put your dog in a position to snap at you while guarding something like a bone. If your dog is a resource guarder or you think they'll get protective if you go right up there and take it, you've no doubt experienced the stress of, well, how do I get that thing away from my dog because he or she can't be behaving that way, right? So I found that the most practical way to separate your dog from something like that is to use a real high value piece of meat, something that's even better than the thing they're likely to guard. Let me show you what I mean. This is what you would do in the case where your dog isn't yet trained and you really have to get it away from them. So in this case, I'm using real chicken, putting it on the ground. So in this case, inertia knows how to stay. So I can say stay, and then I can go over here and pick up the thing that she was guarding, right? The point of luring her away with a meat like this is that it creates a great association with relinquishing whatever it is that she's possessive of. And I also wanted to know that sometimes she has a chance of getting the item back too. By the way, it's a good idea to do this type of training when your dog is not hungry. If your dog is hangry, that's probably going to complicate things. I wanna make sure that I can get inertia to come to me even when she's into the bone like this without having to lure her away. I'd like to think we're past that. So let's check up on that. Inertia, come. Good job. At this point, I'm able to get inertia's attention off of the resource. She is coming to me willingly. All this is going well, but what if I find myself in a position where I just have to get to the item quick? First, I wanna make sure that I can go up to her, get her attention on me, and feel confident that she's not likely to guard the bone. I'm gonna do this real slowly just to make sure it goes well. So I'm gonna be armed with some real chicken here. Look at me. 
Very good. And right now I'm looking at her body language. She doesn't look like she's trying to guard it or anything like that. I'm able to get her attention onto me. Yes. I'm able to touch the bone. She didn't try to snap at me or anything. Yes. Very good. I'm being pretty methodical here to give you an idea of the small steps that you should take. You know, make sure your dog's okay with you doing that before you just go in, yank it, and put it away. And you can see, look at that. She's reacting very appropriately and civilized. You can see with a big animal bone like this, she is no longer, at least so far, very possessive or likely to guard this. This is why it's important to set up artificial exercises like this. I mean, if this were something dangerous, like a cooked chicken wing, I wouldn't really be able to give her that kind of item back in the real world. But an item like this, I can give her back for short periods of time and while I'm supervising her. So you need to take time to proactively create a good association with having good things taken away. And we've been doing this type of training periodically throughout Inertia's life. Don't overlook training like this. It's a really good idea for preventing resource guarding. All right, so Inertia's really into the bone right now, more than she's been all day. I'm gonna do it without a treat this time. Inertia, come. Come. Good. Here. Okay, go get it. All right, so no treat. I'm actually gonna use the bone as a reward, letting her have access to it. Some ways to tell if your dog is likely to guard a resource are to see how they behave. Do they become real stiff? Do they bare their teeth? Do they growl? Do they generally act very protective over the item? Okay, so she's great with the bone, but her most significant guarding outburst was with my wife Bree when Inertia was eating a doggy snowball. Today we made our own homemade version of a snowball, which is really just shaved ice and chicken broth. So let's see how she behaves when my wife, Bree, goes through these steps with her. So we'll give her a chance to get into it here, just like she was before. Okay, I'll take the camera. We're gonna create a trail away from the chicken broth and ice. Good, and then, yeah, another trail, good. Give her a show look. Give her one more piece, maybe ask her to lie down and stay. Lie down, stay. Now come over and pick it up. That's great, Aha, perfect. I took your chicken broth. That's good, and now maybe just give it back to her. Let her know, okay, I'll give you it back. back. Okay. Okay, good you work. can have it. Then walk away and let her, we'll see if she gets back into it. She goes right back into it. What a fun treat. This time, just go ahead and call her and reward her when she comes back to you. Inertia, come. Good girl. Yeah, go ahead and give her a piece of chicken. And okay. then even tell her, go ahead, you can go back. Okay, you can go have your chicken broth. All done, okay. So that's real good. Now just walk right up to her, get her attention on you and go slow. You know, if you see her start to freeze up, we'll take a step back. Because the ultimate goal is not to push her that far, obviously. Mm -hmm. Treat yeah. or no treat? Uh, I would say use a treat, okay. since we're doing a science experiment. Inertia, look at me. Yes. Yeah, maybe even have her lie down and stay, just to be extra cautious, lie right? Down. Just to be methodical. Stay. I'm gonna take good. your chicken broth. Nice, real good. I took it. Then, okay, good, and give okay, it right back. Okay, good girl, you can have it back. Excellent job. I remember when she was a puppy and she had the other snowball that she got a little protective of. The way that I noticed that she was feeling that way was just like her face kind of tensed up. Do you know what I mean? Right. And yeah. I feel like she has a very relaxed face today. Like I honestly feel like she looks a lot more chill about us just taking her food and giving it back. Whereas before she would get this look like, what are you gonna do? Don't take it. What happens if you just go in and take it? Let's see what happens. I think she'll be fine. I'm gonna take this. This simulates maybe a young child runs up to your dog and tries to take something away from them. It's important for them to have some training and know how to behave in that particular context. And just to reiterate too, all of the training in the world doesn't mean that your dog will never resource guard. You always need to use common sense. And even though I was proactive with it with inertia, she still did it a few times. And so far we've done really well working through it, but I'll continue to maintain this behavior and make sure that she behaves appropriately around things like that. Get your supplies and get $10 off your first three automatic shipments of your dog's food from PetFlow by entering my special code ZAC30 at checkout. I'll have a link below. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Instagram and TikTok for the most recent updates on how a nurse's training is going and get a copy of my books too. All of those links will be below in the description. We'll see you next time.